Yeah, you're on port, yeah. You're on port, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. Right, come back, come back afterwards. Yeah, I'll give you more time. Just give me, I'll give you. Two, one, time up. No, you can come. I'll time give you more. Yeah, because this is a. It's a. It's a do, yeah, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. One point that you'd like people to take home with. Yeah. Or three oh, points that you'd like people to take home with. You started first. No, you started first. You don't, you don't, the last round, isn't it? That was the second. You don't second get to tell us when the debate ends, I'm sorry. Yeah. Here. All right, you come back in your, in your next Okay, I'll minutes. tell. Okay, go. Okay, let me go. Let me go. You're three minutes. Are you ready? Yeah, starts now. Okay, once again, we have to take notice, he's not mentioned anything I said. Again, if Jesus is not God, then why, according to Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, does he share nature with the Father? What prophet, or what, what, what mere man shares nature with the Father? We see Jesus shares nature with the Father throughout the Gospel. For example, it says the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. What prophet has the fullness of deity dwell within him? You have Jesus in... Um, you have Jesus in John chapter 1 creating all things. What prophet creates all things? Now, I'll address a few points he's made, but I do want you to address the points I've made and not just gloss over them and go to your script. Because I think what's happened is you've been derailed from your script, so you're just repeating yourself. Stop repeating yourself and address what I'm saying. For this to be a, a productive discussion, you have to address my points, not just me addressing your points. You said that uh, you should not worship any god uh, but me, is what, is what Isaiah says. Yes. Isaiah does say that, Waffling. but how does Jesus interpret Waffling. Isaiah? Jesus quotes from Isaiah Waffling. and takes those divine titles Waffling. Waffling. and applies that to himself. Oh, subhanallah. You can come next. If you, if, if you want to debate, oh, oh, you can come oh, next. Oh, oh, you, know you can come next. Sorry, don't, don't disrupt. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's probably there yeah. saying that I'm waffling, but he can come next. That's fine. No, no. He, he's big time. He's, he, know, he knows that. <laughs> he knows that. Watch him. Go on, go on. You, you can come next. He's, so he's, he says in Isaiah, it says worship, uh, worship number God. So I agree, he does say that. But Jesus identifies himself as the God of Isaiah. So that doesn't disprove the deity of Christ. When you look at how Christ interpreted it, it proves the deity of Christ. He said, uh, Matthew says, I thank you, Father, and, and therefore Jesus is not God because he calls God his Father. Actually, he just refuted Islam because he cannot believe Jesus even said those words. In Islam, in the Quran, chapter 5, he says the God is the Father of no one. But here we have Jesus calling God his own Father. So the point you just brought up, once again, doesn't prove your point. It shoots yourself in the foot because according to the Quran, God has no sons. Jesus says, you are my father in the very same verse you've just quoted so why are you using verses to disprove the deity of christ that actually point to the deity of christ Stop this makes no sense. Talk to you, man. he says john he used john's full, john chapter 14 to try and disprove the deity of christ once again why in the world are you using john's gospel when john's gospel begins by calling jesus the creator of all things you cannot use a gospel to disprove the deity of christ when he calls jesus the creator of all things that cannot be done continue reading through john he calls god his father multiple times john 17 verse 1 to 5, he quoted verse 3 earlier, go to verse 1 and 5, you see in the beginning Jesus calls God his own father, and he calls God his own son. Once again, if he believes Jesus says these words, then it refutes Islam. Heat, come back with some heat. Jesus in the Muslim love that, love perspective that, 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 cannot say these words, because God is not his father according to Islam, but according to the words of yeah, Christ, he is his own father. Now go, to verse, go to verse 5. 11. Go to verse 5, Six. Jesus says, I share glory with the five. Father before the world even began. What Four. prophet shares glory with the Father before the world began? Tell no us. prophet can do hey, that. Please, please. Time, time. All right, cool. Conclusion, hey. Amy, are you? Uh, Conclusion, are you? Are you? So, 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 why did Jesus say God? He worship me. He's not waffling. Jesus telling you, worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. What do you understand by that? Worship the Lord your And also, Jesus, you know, in the upper room, Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 1 to 3. Let's see what Jesus said. He was talking to the disciples. He said, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Now, who is that God? What's that verse? Answer, answer that. He doesn't even. John 14, 1. Go in there. John 14, 1, start 14, 1. Stop Amen. messaging and answer the question. John 14, 1, Jesus said, what, let me, open, open your Bible. Oh, open open it. He, has, he doesn't know your Bible. He's quoting clear verses. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. What? I want to know, who is God there? That's what I respect. That's it. Education. Believe in God. Who is God? If Jesus is God, is there two gods? 
No, it's only one. He didn't say believe in God, oh, believe, in, oh, yeah. believe in one God, believe in second God, oh, or believe in Trinity. Oh, but let us your heart be troubled. Him, the man. disciples, believe in God, believe also in me. Who is God there? Remember, there's supposed to be one. One. Only one. Yeah. Only they one. said, um, they're, they're, Jesus and God. Where did you get three from? Three that bear the God in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, Why and these three are one. <laughs> but this verse here, it's two there. Tell him, Uncle, man. Tell him. Tell him. Uncle, tell him, man. Read, read. I want to read it loud so you know who is God there. That's enough. We want to know who is God. I got this one. I got this one. Who is Jesus referred to Uncle as God? Man. Tell him, man. Now, Jesus is God. Let's know who is God there. Keep quiet. Please. Okay. Okay. Address that. Yeah, address it. No, one minute. One no, minute. I want to address that. Believe in God. And also, oh, also, 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 address that. One or not? Because you challenge me. You challenge me. You want to prove to me that Jesus is God. You told me. Now the honor is on you. So, go that and he go to go that and he go to the Gospel of John. Um, hold on. Because if I quote off my head. That book is dodgy. Mm -hmm. No one be quiet. Okay. This also, one is no, you go to Isaiah. Don't call Isaiah. Isaiah, go to Isaiah now. Where God he said before me. Nah, yeah. Leave, 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 leave. Let me see, let me see, let me see. You're there, that's it. Well, well, address, address that because now time is going. Address that. I just want to address that. Time is going. Let me address that, yeah. Because so many there. But you want to know, that's it, you know, because he's telling me, deity, so you want to know who is God there. Don't digress, don't go anywhere. Deal with that. Let me go. Okay, hopefully love is truly as one as you're up this time and will actually let me speak. Now, I'll begin with this first point. He mentioned John chapter 14. This disproves the deity of Christ. Now, unfortunately, he, did, he says, I don't know my Bible. He didn't finish the passage. If we continue in John 14, it says, as he rightly said in verse 1, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Now, the very next verse refutes Islam. Okay, what? In my father's house. Whose house? Fathers, fathers, fathers. Quran chapter 5, God is no father of anyone. Oh, no, 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 we don't talk. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't interrupt you. In, in verse 2, in my, in my father's house are many dwelling places. In my father's house. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. And where I am, you may be also. And, that, and you may know that where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, what did he say? No. Lord. Lord. He said, Lord, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How do we know the way? Yeah, go. He said, Jesus said to I'm him, to I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father Amen. but by me. Fucker. And then it says in verse 7, <laughs> if you had known me, you, just read the whole you would have known my Father. You can read it. I can read it. Also, from now on, you know him Brazos. and have seen him. So Brazos. when Jesus says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father, how in the world does that refute the deity of Christ? His joint nature with Christ. Therefore, if you have seen, if you have seen, the, if you have seen the Father, if you have seen the Son, then you have seen the Father. Therefore, therefore, it is God. Fine, this verse, fine. This verse will not bring on to refute the deity of Christ. No, 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 no. It's unfortunate. You only read the hold, hold one verse, but when it starts speaking about how he's the come Father, come back with the heat. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back with the heat. Yes, I'm cool. Come on, come on. I don't know my Bible. What in the world are you talking about? You don't know your Bible. I'll tell you. Now, again, he's continuously asked. You can come next. Again, he's continuously asked me. He's continuously asked me to address his points. I've addressed his point in and out every single time. He tried to use John chapter 14, 1 to disprove the deity of Christ. Read the following verses. He calls him. He calls Jesus God his own father. He calls God his own father. He says, if you've seen the father, you have seen me. Therefore, Jesus is claiming there to be God. How, can, how does this disprove the Jesus of Christ? It doesn't. Now, I've answered your points, verse by verse, step by step. Now, please, Lamin, instead of making more arguments, address the arguments I've made. You've not addressed any argument whatsoever. You simply said, well, Isaiah says this, Isaiah says that. I address your points every time. Address my points. You haven't, ad you haven't addressed any of my points. You haven't addressed any of my points. Okay. 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 That I is not, look, point. we said, yeah. no, 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 no. We said, we said, that is not a single verse why Jesus claimed to be God. It's not there. It's not there. You cannot quote it. Jesus said, look, I quote it. Where we the Muslims, we quote this all, all the time. John 17, 3. 
Right, we call that all the time, oh, but yeah. this man here, yeah, he's you you not just anything. Tea, you challenge me, you are here, can't. I ask you, I, I, I did challenge you, I say, hold to me six verses. Hold six verses of the Bible. Six verses. Six verses. I want, no, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? What does God say about himself in the Old Testament? What does he say? Do you believe in the Old Testament? What does God say about himself? I quote, no, no, no. I quote one verse there. He said, the man said that Jesus created. He said Jesus created everything. Jesus created us. Now I call to you, in the, I call to you in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 24. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone struck out the heaven, who spread it out by myself. There is no trinity in them. No, no, there is no trinity. You're not addressing that. You challenge me. Address that. But they won't go to the Old Testament. They live in the New Testament. So he tell me God changed his mind. God in the Bible says one, only one Lord. He's not a man. Was he being alone? And he go to the New Testament and say, no, no, no. I'm a, I'm a triumph God. Can you show me one verse in the Bible? Why? Almighty God. In the Old Testament, speaks about Trinity. He can't do it. I will give you thousand pounds. Six verses from the Bible. Yes, yes. 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 Oh, he's here. Bob, Bob sell the thousand pounds this year. Six verses. He can quote it. Where God speaks about his oneness. It's replete. He can't. He's here. I challenge him. No, I challenge him. And the man, no, we got, we got it. The man, the man speaks about the book of Hebrews. Who wrote the book of Hebrews? Here. Charles Dickens. That is your back here. What does he get to come out? Charles Dickens. Here is a list of your Bible. 66 books. 66 books. My brother and sisters here, he doesn't know who wrote the Bible. I'm going to teach you. 66 books. Who wrote them? If you tell me who wrote them, look, I'm here. I'm going to look. Today, no, you know I'm, I'm not joking. I brought thousand pounds. One thousand pounds I'm gonna give you. You don't know. He doesn't know. Hold this, hold this. I give it here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold this one. No, this is a challenge. Hold that. Hold it. Hold it. If you can tell me who wrote the Bible, sixty-six books, thousand pounds, one bag. Yeah. Yeah. Genesis of Revelation. And guess what? It's monopoly money. Hey, listen. They call money. They have money. Guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. They believe in the Bible. It's the word of God. Exactly. From Genesis to Revelation. He doesn't hold the books. You are reading the book. You don't know who wrote them. You believe in them. You don't know who wrote them, bro. That's how I'm telling you. Give me the card. 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 You caught it something. And I just once again, he wants me to answer his points, but for this whole entire discussion, he's not answered any points I've made. I'm blanking him. Lamin, stop your heckling. I gave him biblical verses that show where Jesus claimed divine titles on himself that were used in the Old Testament only of God, and he refers them to himself. Isaiah 44, verse 6, Revelation chapter 1, verse 17, John 8, 58, Exodus 3, 14. All of these are divine titles of God that Jesus applies to himself. When Jesus is worshipped in Matthew, 20, in Matthew chapter 2, they bow down and worship him. He says they only worship God. I agree, they worship God, they worship Christ in human form. Therefore, Jesus is God, claims the word of God, accepts worship, accepts people calling him God, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 says he shares nature with God. How does a prophet share nature with God? It's impossible. John 1 3, 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 John 1 3 says things like very real things, which echoes the, the Apostle Paul's word in Colossians chapter 1. It says he created all things, all things have their being through him and for him. Jesus sustains the whole life itself, the Bible says. He, the Bible clearly teaches Jesus is God, that he arbitrarily picks and chooses verses, that he thinks fits with Islamic theology. When you look at the context, like in John 14, when he said John 14 de uh, de denies the deity of Christ, he only read the, the first verse. 
if you can continue reading the next 10 verses, Jesus calls God his Father. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you in heaven. He says, if you've seen the Father, if you've seen me, question, you have seen the Father. He's and notice that. He only takes verses here and there. I give you the full context. Judge for yourselves. Who's been more fair and gone into the text? Oh, if you do a fair bit. And context means, and somebody can tell me. Because unfortunately, it's been Can you argue the fact that I'm still talking about it? Now, I have answered every single point you've brought up. It's not answered any point I've brought up. That's how you judge the debate. Yeah, but you answer the question. Which one is judged? Which one has answered the objections of the other? I've answered his objections in every way. He has never answered one objection I've been brought up. He said he's done a yaya yaya and ignored everything I said and stuck to a script. Unfortunately, his script is rubbish. It doesn't go anywhere. All his script does is just say, well, Isaiah, and, and Matthew says this, and, and John says that. We look deeper into these texts, we see those texts actually prove the deity of Christ, not, dis not disprove the deity of Christ. And I'll finish with this. He has not answered a single point I've said. No. Hebrews 1.3. People, can a prophet share nature with God? No. No. Oh, yeah. Can a prophet share nature with God? No. no. You're the one. You're the one. Jesus, no. hold on, hold on. In Hebrews hold on. 1 verse 3, Guess what? shares nature with God. You finish Therefore, it. he's not just a mere prophet. Shut up, finish your time. 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 Finish you know, no, no. Jesus, Jesus says something profound in the Bible. Listen to me. John 4, 23. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshippers, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father, six, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Listen. Is Jesus the Son of God? No, he, so God yeah, is your own yeah. theology. No, no, listen, 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 God, your yeah. Bible, Jesus said, John, the true worshippers, the true worshippers, the, 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 the true worshippers worship who? The Father. The Father. The first worshippers. The, the, the first, first worshippers. Hold on. The first worshippers. First worshippers. What? First worshippers. Who they worship? What you say? False. False worshippers. False worshippers. Will worship who? The creation. The true worshippers, Jesus says, will worship the Father. You worship Jesus. Who? The father. The father. The Jesus. No, no. Look. Look. No, 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 my brother. In chapter two, they bow down and worshipped him. Why? Because he's in fact God. He tell him he's up. You can come no, in. No, I feel like I'm No, no, no. You talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You said no, no. Hold on. You look. You made. You made. You made. You made look. You, you made you made a comment about Quran. Listen, you had your chance. No, no, no. I'm going, I'm going to finish now, my brothers and sisters. This man, this man here approached me today. He's watching my videos. And he has seen that he was with Bob the Builder. I was come, I come to challenge Bob. The God came today with his clap trap, his bunker, his nonsense about Islam, being the terrorist religion. And he saw me and he came to me and said, I want to debate with you about uh, the deity of Christ. I said, Oh, I'm all right. I, I've been coming here for five years now, nearly. And no one has been able to show me any verse in the Bible. Why Jesus himself said that he's God or oh, worship me. Not a single verse where Almighty God said that he's trying God. Therefore, then Paul. So I came here, he's panicking now, quoting verse from here and here, quoting. And then he's going, he's panicking, he's going. That's the only problem. When they start panicking, when I quote it, because they haven't read their Bible, they come here, they come here. Come here, quoting, quoting the Bible. Hold on, quoting the, quoting the Bible out of context, and he made a claim. He, he made a claim. Brothers and sisters, okay, in here, we got people who are very uh, emotional here. So I'm going to conclude now. Now what we're going to do? We believe in Jesus Christ as a prophet, as the Messiah. 
sent to the children of Israel. Jesus said, it's never God or worship me. As I said, in the Quran, the concept of God, the concept of God, if you want to know in Quran, the Quran has got 114 surahs. And the 112th surah is called Surah Ikhlas. Here, this, if you want to know about the concept of God in Islam, you go to Surah Ikhlas. I always quote that and I invite my brothers and sisters in humanity and Christianity to go. Even if you don't read the whole Quran, I go to the index here and find out J. Everything that says about Jesus, can read it. Now, Surah Ikhlas now said, Call who Allah 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 Say is Allah the one. Allah who summon. Allah upon whom upon all depend. La melid wala milad. He begets not know he is begotten. Wala mi akulahu kufan ahad. And there is nothing unto like him. He's panicking. And I did tell him, you know, they call from the Bible, from book of Genesis to Revelation, but they don't know who wrote the Bible. It's a collection of books. Book of Hebrews, if you Google it out, it's anonymous. The book of Hebrews is quoted here. No one knows who wrote the book of the Hebrews. So I challenge him to give him 1,000 pounds to name me the authors of the book of the Bible. The Quran we know, 140 surahs, all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No brothers and sisters. So we are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets. All the prophets were Muslims. They all submitted with Almighty God. Muslim means submitting one's will to Almighty God, Allah, and not associating any part of him. You understand? And God the Bible, plenty. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. You understand? The first of all the commandment. So if they are worshiping Jesus, the believing Trinity, they are breaking the first commandment. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. And He said, Jesus, I'm going to repeat again, created. He created everything. He's the creator. Then I went to the Old Testament because they will never go to the Old Testament and quote what God says about Himself. And I quoted again in the book of Isaiah, chapter number. 44 verse number 24 god himself said explicitly i'm the lord who made all things who alone spread out the heavens who spread, who stretched out the heavens who spread it out by myself by myself not trinity trinity is a fabrication it's a concoction the early followers of jesus they didn't know anything about this trinity you know some brothers and sisters read your bible with understanding don't believe what the pastors are telling you almighty god is only one lord we believe in all the prophets. All the prophets were sent. You know, by it's about 124,000 prophets, according to the hadith, who have been sent on the face of earth. By name in the Quran, 25. But Muhammad Sallallahu is the last and final messenger sent to the whole of mankind. Omar Asam Naka illa Ramatil Alamin. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the Alamin, my brothers and sisters. So that is why in Christianity you got so many divisions, Trinitarians, non-Trinitarians. Not a single verse in the Bible. He challenged me, can't. He's quoting here and there. And when I quote a verse to debunk it, he said, No, you are not addressing my point. Not a single verse in the Bible. Why Jesus claimed to be God. And your Bible itself said, the head of Christ is God. If the head of Christ is God, how can he be God? Brothers and sisters, they said Jesus is God incarnate. God himself. So I'm asking them, according to the Bible, what Jesus been crucified? When he said, Ella, Ella, Lama, Sabbatani, oh my God, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? Who was that God he was speaking to? And all the way he told Mary Magdalene, taught me or not? For I am not yet ascended to the, to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So if Jesus had a God, how can he be God? How, how? This is the thing, my brothers and sisters. Read your Bible and then go to the Quran. This is the last and final testament, the Quran. So, my brothers and sisters, yeah, sorry. So, this is his thing. So, this is the last and final. That's why Quran now, the highest, the, the fastest growing religion in the world is the Islam. When people read the Quran, you see the truth, the hack, the truth is there. Here, we, the Muslims, we cannot say everything here is not from God. Any verse, that agrees with the Quran. We believe in it. Almighty God, one Lord, we believe in it. God says, not a man. Hosea 11, now, for I am God, I don't man. Every Muslim believe in it. God is not a man. God says, created everything. We believe in that. But they're coming up with, the, with this trinity, triumph God, which is not one where to be found in the Bible. And I also tell my Christian provinces that there is a verse in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 46. When Jesus, John 5, 46, Jesus said to the 
Jews that if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. So what did Jesus write? What did Moses write about Jesus? You understand? If you believe Moses, you will believe, for he wrote about me. Now, if you go to the five books of Moses, there is not a single verse there. Eh? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Not a single verse Moses six, uh, six uh, about Jesus being God. No single verse about Trinity, about crucifixion, about resurrection. But yet, Jesus said to them, if you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. What did Moses write about Jesus? Did he say anything about Trinity? Jesus being because he's son of God, John 3 16. Jesus died for our sins. No, they are lying. Come to Islam.